Around the beginning of the 17th century, the German astronomer and mathematician Johannes Kepler wrote one of the first science fiction stories, Insomnium Astronomicum, or An Astronomical Dream. The short story, in Latin, relates the tale of an astronomy student who learns about voyages to the moon. The story begins with an adventure. The protagonist Eurocotus is kidnapped by seafarers from Iceland, and eventually studies in Denmark with the astronomer Tycho Brahe. He then returns home to Iceland, and learns that his mother is an adept at the occult arts, and regularly communicates with a demon from the moon. Together Eurocotus and his mother, go to a crossroads at night, to summon the demon. It appears, and in a rasping voice explains that his people live on the moon, but usually can't get to the earth, except during eclipses, when they can travel along the bridge of shadow between the two worlds. The core of Somnium then begins in the words of the demon. It's essentially a lesson about how astronomy looks on the moon, along with a brief survey of the peculiar conditions on the lunar surface. Kepler imagined the moon as a populated world, with an atmosphere and exotic life. He reasoned that the near side of the moon, which always faces the Earth, is a temperate land, warmed and illuminated during the lunar nights, by sunlight reflected from the Earth. But the far side of the moon, which never sees the Earth and only sees the sun for two weeks every month, is in turns a scorching desert and a landscape of ice riven by storms, its inhabitants alternately oppressed by the burning rays of the sun and the freezing night of empty space. The demon's tale ends abruptly. It stops speaking, disappears, and Eurocotus and his mother are left alone at the crossroads in the middle of the night. It's at this point that the story ends. This was more than just a tall tale. Kepler's Somnium is both the earliest example of a hard science fiction story and a document of a pivotal stage in scientific history. Kepler's descriptions of the lunar landscape and conditions contain elements of a radical new theory of nature that placed the Sun, not the Earth, at the center of the known universe. In the course of a few decades, the heliocentric model with the Sun at the center of the planets, which was championed by Copernicus, Galileo, and Kepler, dislodged the Ptolemaic model, which put the Earth at the center of the heavens. Kepler's analysis of the motions of the planets around the Sun inspired Isaac Newton's work on gravity, and were a step towards the modern understanding of the universe. The Somnium may have also put Kepler's family in danger. He wrote that his story of magical arts and demons was twisted to accuse and jail his elderly mother for witchcraft, an accusation they had to fight for many years.